Hi guys, today we're going to make a puff pastry with um, one of my favorite flavor combinations of all time. It kind of reminds me of French onion soup because French onion soup uses these two ingredients. Uh, we are going to make a puff pastry with caramelized onions, like really yummy caramelized onions that were caramelized nice and slow on the stove. They took about 40 minutes in some butter with some fresh thyme leaves. Um, and then I finished them off with a little bit of Worcestershire so that it gives it that nice little bite at the end and they're really yummy and complex. And we're going to add some Gruyere cheese. So it's kind of like French onion soup. Now in the caramelized onions, I also added some chopped baby Bella mushrooms, which I really like with in this, in this recipe and with the Gruyere cheese and the, mush and the onions. So let's get started. I have my store-bought puff pastry dough right here. And there are two sheets per box. And I'm going to make both, but I'm just going to show you how to do one right now, and then I'll show you what it looks like when it comes out of the oven. So let's get this out. I love store-bought puff pastry. It is such a time saver. All right, let's get you out of the package. And, oh, let me put my cheese over here. And we're going to flour our board just to make sure it doesn't stick. Just a little. And we're just gonna roll it out a little bit and then see if there's any creases. If there's any creases, then we'll kind of um, smush them back together. All right, come here, you beautiful pastry sheets. Oh, this one looks like it cracked a little bit. Yeah, so we're gonna have to kind of smush this one back together. Okay. And we'll take the little paper off. I love, love, love this recipe. I make it all the time. It's perfect if you have people coming over for like the holidays. And it's Christmas time and I'm going to my brother's um, house later. So I'll just bring this over there. Along with some cookies that I made and a cake, a Christmas cake that I made. And you can actually see pictures of that on my, on my Instagram channel, my Instagram page um, at Amanda Does Food. All right, so we'll move this out of the way. Let's roll this one out. And we're just really trying to get it flat and uniform. Get the creases back together. And that actually looks, oh, perfect. Almost perfect. All right, that looks great. Now let's get our, um, you know what? Actually, first we're going to we're going to kind of crisscross. We're going to cut the flaps, cut the sides in one inch little flaps and then crisscross them over the filling like this. And it looks really pretty and it just like bakes up really, really nice. So we're going to leave like a middle row for the filling and we'll make like one inch little flaps on the side and try to get it as close to perfect as you can, but of course, nothing is perfect. So don't worry about it. No matter what, it's gonna taste amazing. But this is really simple anyway, nonetheless. And okay, so I just wanna make sure that you can actually see how I made little cuts right here but I left the middle part nice and intact. So let's get our caramelized onions. These are room temperature. I caramelized them and I let them cool. They're purple onions with some mushrooms in there, butter, oh my God, it smells so good. Butter, fresh thyme leaves, and then I just took the stems out at the end. Um, a little bit of garlic at the end. I didn't put it in the beginning when they were caramelizing because we don't want the, the garlic to burn. Um, and then remember I hit it with some Worcestershire, about two tablespoons of Worcestershire. So let's get that out of the pan and then on our um, beautiful pastry. 
Oh, you know what? I totally, totally skipped a very, very important step. Our Dijon mustard. Gotta have your Dijon mustard. It really goes well with the Gruyere and the um, onions and the mushrooms really, really well. All right, so let me get my little knife here. Use some good Dijon mustard. Just spread a nice thin layer. I love mustard. I know I've mentioned this before. I have like every kind of mustard in my refrigerator. Um, yellow mustard, Dijon mustard, spicy mustard, stone ground mustard, um, curry mustard. Let's see, what else do I have? I have every kind. Okay, we've got a nice thin layer that will give it lots of flavor and um, be really super yummy. Okay, now, you know what? <laughs> I don't know why I was putting the mushrooms on because it was not time for the mushrooms. Um, now we're going to put tons of Gruyere cheese. I just grated this. I love Gruyere. It's one of my favorite cheeses and it's the cheese that is traditionally on French onion soup. And, um, you know, French onion soup, soup starts with caramelized onions. All right, a good little layer. Delicious. All right, our onions now. Time for our onions. Finally. Let's get a nice little layer down the middle. Um, and then we're going to put it in our preheated oven. It's already preheated. It's at 400 and we'll put it in there for about 15 to 20 minutes. And I will show you what it looks like when it comes out. But it's gonna be awesome. All right, so let me show you. Oh, we need our egg wash. Let's get our egg in there. And we're gonna make a little egg wash with one egg and then just a tiny drip of water. It's all scrambled up. And we'll use the egg wash to kind of bind the little um, the little flaps. And we will also use it to brush the top and get it like nice and um, nice and shiny when it comes out of the oven. Okay, so we're going to first flap one side over. I'll take a picture of this after I do it so you guys can see what it actually looks like. So we, we uh, flap that one side over. We're gonna put a little bit of egg wash right here to kind of seal the next flap. Perfect. Next flap, little egg wash. Just keep going. I sometimes, actually I do this a lot. I will make like a Danish, a fruit Danish with like some pastry cream when I have guests sleeping over and I'll make it the night before, just put it on the baking sheet and then keep it in the refrigerator and then um, bake it in the morning and you have fresh Danish for people sleeping over. It's warm, it's so yummy with coffee. Okay. This looks beautiful. And then I'm just gonna make sure it's kind of, you know, uniform. And let's see, a little more egg wash, just to get it nice. You know what, I'm gonna transfer it first and then we'll put, we'll put egg wash on it. So I'm gonna transfer it to my little baking sheet. Let me just, um, <laughs> I'm always dropping my knives. Okay, so we let's trade places. So we've got our baking sheet lined with parchment paper. And let's put the egg wash on now. Get it nice and shiny and golden for when it comes out of the oven.
There we go. Perfect. Now we're going to hit it with some pepper. It looks pretty and it tastes good. And actually, you know what we're gonna else we're gonna put on? Let's put on some um, some Malden smoked sea salt. It's a finishing salt. You don't cook with it, but you finish things with it. It'll give it that nice crunch on top. Give it a little extra flavor, texture. It just it really like gives it a lot. And I have that right here. And we'll just kind of. Oh my gosh, this looks so pretty. I can't wait to show you guys this. Okay, that's it. It's going into a 400 degree oven and I'll show you what it looks like when it comes out.